the negative and positive effects of dopamine. What is dopamine in the first place? Dopamine is in the brain. It is a chemical messenger that regulates the bodily functions. It is a neurotransmitter that is in the brain. For instance, if you are eating food that is very delicious, dopamine is released, and then you have that pleasure of wanting to eat more, you crave for that. Dopamine also comes with excitement. It comes with sexual pleasure. It comes with being praised. It is released when you have achieved a goal and you feel proud of yourself and you have that drive to do more in something that we need to be motivated. It brings about that pleasure that makes you want to do more and makes you want to go ahead. However, sometimes it has huge negative consequences when the level of dopamine in you is high. And when the level is low, then there is an imbalance as well, which makes it also bad. But when you have a balanced release of dopamine, that motivates you to do things, to complete tasks, to set up goals and pursue new dreams. So that's the positive side of dopamine. We will be comparing both positive and negative sides of dopamine. A high level of dopamine in you will cause impulsivity and aggression. It also causes addiction issue. Imagine if you have tried a drug, which of course is illegal and does not have a good reward system for your body, and you have that high level of dopamine release, then you get into pleasure and wanting to do more drugs. That's a negative side of dopamine. And when you get that, you will see yourself in a situation of addiction and you're struggling with addiction all of the time because you are having high level of dopamine. That is the side of it that makes it not good. And you got to be very careful how you get yourself involved with things that are pleasurable. If I eat a piece of chocolate and I crave for that, and of course I go out of control, well, it's released. It makes me want to get more. And if I can't control that, I will see myself being addicted to sweet. And I will be addicted to sugar. That's my lead to diabetes. That's one of the negative side of dopamine. Dopamine is also bad when there is an imbalance in the level of dopamine. What happens is that dopamine has very important paths when it comes to locomotion. So when the dopamine is too low, then we will have an impaired movement, which sometimes can cause Parkinson's disease. When you have an imbalance in the level of dopamine, you are in trouble. One thing that happens is at times you have depression, which is a result of imbalance in the level of dopamine. And that leads to schizophrenia and it can even lead to psychosis. However, when it comes to a balanced level of dopamine, the acceptable level of dopamine, we see that we get motivated. We are able to do things again and again. Because we have that, we are encouraged to go after our goals and achieve them. We are encouraged to make new plans. We are encouraged to be very creative. And that creativity leads to productivity. So that's the essence of having a balanced level of dopamine. People generally think that dopamine is totally a good thing. Well, the good side of it outweighs the bad side. But the bad side can have very drastic effects on you when you are not careful in how you utilize pleasures that run through your brain. If you are involved in promiscuity, for instance, that pleasure keeps coming to your mind. Your brain wants you to do more. And because you cannot control the urge of it, you will lead to sexual promiscuity which has devastating consequences on you because you're not controlling those urges. And sometimes you become overconfident when that level of dopamine is high. And that confidence in you can lead to aggression and impulsivity. You can't control the urge of doing so. One thing I would tell you is always have in mind that no matter what pleasure you get or no matter how low you go, there is a balance in you will gradually leave that level of being high or low and come to a middle ground which levels up your feelings. And that level is the level of acceptable happiness. However, when we have a pleasure or achievement or good news, that level goes up. And if we feel low, probably due to some life circumstances that are not favorable, that level goes down. But no organism stays within those levels of being up or down forever. There is a balance which comes to the baseline and then we behave normally again. An example could be if you are in need of a car and someone comes about and gives you what you need, a brand new car, 
the level of excitement goes up. That could be for a day, but maybe the next day it starts coming down and then it reaches a point, that baseline that is normal. And of course, maybe you lose your car in accident that gets burned. The level of excitement, happiness goes low and you just feel very sad. You are not programmed to stay at a level for a long time. It will gradually ascend to the normal baseline, no matter how high the pleasure level is or how low it is, you will come to a point that is going to be in equilibrium. This thing is called hedonic adaptation. And having a concept of hedonic adaptation, you are able to deal with the level of impulses or too much pleasure that rises when you are experiencing a high level of dopamine. We should be cognizant that pleasure leads to addiction which becomes detrimental to our behavior. Have a wonderful